and we have the prop guards for the Matic 2. These will work with the Zoom, which I have here, or the Pro model, either one. These are from Fingling Tech. They're on Amazon for $7.99. They are the individual designs. They're not the double that are connected in the middle like some of the other ones. I don't know that there's much difference between them. They say the connector between the ones that are made together are real weak and flimsy. These are big. They take up a lot of room in your bag. If you have a small bag like I do here, I've got a backpack coming, but they won't fit in this bag. They're just too big. Uh, you ain't getting them in there. You can try all you want, but they take up a lot of real estate. So I recommend a backpack or something like that to carry these around in. They come just like this. They're unbranded from China. And here they are. Okay, as you can see on these, I took a Sharpie and just put an R here. You can tell the front from the back because the back have short little legs here and the fronts have the hole for the leg on the Matic 2 already. Pretty easy latch over design. Just close it and lock. Nothing fancy. Pretty, pretty simple. But we'll go through a quick install here and show you how to put them on and take them off. They are tight. You do have to be careful putting them on and off. I accidentally pulled the light off the back doing this before I figured out how to do it right. So, like I said, marker. The way I do it is pretty simple. Start it up on the leg first. Even with the skin on here, it don't mess with nothing. Put my thumb on top of the motor and just press up. It snaps right into place. Put your latch over close it pretty easy to do uh, front is a little harder it's a little tighter because of the leg on the drone already but basically the same thing you just slip it up over your leg put your thumb up here even pressure everywhere snaps right on close it up lock it same deal on the other side Going on is not near as bad as coming off with them. They snap on pretty good. They're on sturdy once you get them on and lock them. They're not going nowhere. These are really light. I thought they'd be heavier than they are. They're, they're lightweight. They're good construction. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're really sturdy. The legs fold up before the prop guard give any. These are advertised that they won't interfere with none of the sensors. Uh, nothing's supposed to get in the way. And as far as this little gap in between here, I don't see that there's going to be much need to have that connection between the two prop guards for nothing. It's just uh, something I think for traveling and packing cases more than anything is to have that where you can just fold it. These are just as good, I think. They're, like I said, they're real sturdy and they're real light, so I'd recommend them. We will have a video later flying with them. I will be testing them. I'll be putting it into the wall. All right, and taking them off is just as simple. Just unsnap it. The way I do it, I just simply push on both sides at the same time down and they fall, fall off pretty, pretty good. Just push down and they come right off. Same thing on the back, each side, push down, comes right out. Push evenly, same time, haven't had no problems doing it that way. All right guys.